Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, and that camera's a little bit high. I feel like I'm near the bottom of my camera. I just noticed that, even though I just tested it. That's weird. I will correct that in a moment. Tonight is 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 1, and this is... I didn't really mean to do it, but this is kind of a part 3. Well, then again, a lot of the books in the Old Testament are story-driven. They're in chronological order. They're historical. So it makes sense that some of these things kind of just go in order. Just usually I'll, I'll preach on a specific topic in the chapter. It's not really like, not, even though the story's tied in, a lot of the times the points aren't really tied in the next day. But this really is kind of sort of a part three. So 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 1. So all the work that Solomon had done for the house of the Lord was finished. And Solomon brought in the things which his father David had dedicated, the silver and the gold and all the furnishings. And he put them in the treasuries of the house of God. What I'm going to focus in on that verse is, so all the work that Solomon had done for the house of the Lord was finished. We, we have that dedication, we have that determination, we work hard, we work for so long, we work so hard, we put so much effort and do, much, do so much preparation, and then one day, it's done. We get to the place where we wanted to go, we got to that place, that, that thing that we wanted to accomplish so badly, we got there. It happened, and we made it. And everything's good, and everything's all right and okay. And it ends up being good, and powerful, and something wonderful. Prob probably, most of the time, maybe not most of the time, hopefully most of the time, I don't know, something even better than we originally set out to accomplish. All of that determination and all that hard work, as long as you don't give up, as long as you keep persevering to the end, it doesn't go to waste. And you end up with something wonderful and something beautiful and bright. And if you're a Christian and you're working for the Lord, it will be for the Lord. And you'll look back and you'll be like, wow, that was good. That was really good. I'm glad I did that. And so, yeah, that's my goal with, uh, with YouTube, with the other future endeavors I have in mind. To be able to look back, you know, a decade or two decades from now. Um, God willing, I'm still here because you never know what's going to happen. But God, more than it's likely that I'll be here. All things considered, it's very likely. And if not, I don't mind being home with my Heavenly Father. That doesn't bother me one bit. But all things considered, I'll probably be here. I'll look back. A bit older, a bit more wrinkled, a bit more gray, maybe a little bit thinner on top. And I'll say, you know, that YouTube thing, that was good. That was worth it. Those things, those things, the, just the, the, maybe the stories I wanted to tell, the music I wanted to sing, the games I wanted to play, the messages that I wanted to preach. I, it ended up being a good thing. It ended up being worth it. Don't know how big it'll be. Don't know how small it'll be. Don't know if at the end I'll have less subscribers than I do now. I don't know. Hope not, personally. But I don't know. I'm just going to try to stay true to myself, stay true to my God. I'm going to keep doing this work. I'm going to keep building this thing up. And if the Lord tells me to go somewhere else, then I'll go somewhere else. If he tells me to do something else, I'll do something else. And just make, I just want to make sure that I live my life for him and keep aiming all of my stuff heavenward and, just, and to finish the work that I start and not just stop halfway um, or do something half-baked. So that's it. Uh, I've enjoyed this series personally. I feel like it's ministered to me because, you know, I've got, I've got some plans for the future, some things I want to do. And so this has spoken to me on a personal level. So I'm thankful to you, Lord, for giving it to me um, and giving it to me to give to them because we all need that. We all need that push. We all need that encouragement to keep on going, to be determined, to not give up, to work hard and to keep doing what we do for you. So thank you, Father, for this. In Jesus' name, amen. And thank you guys very much for watching. I love you, and God bless.